I'm not a lawyer, but another day, another reality TV show lawsuit. But this time it's against Bravo and it was filed by a man who was hired for season two of The Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip. And you know I had to read all 36 pages of the complaint, so let me fill you in. I originally saw this tweet from TMZ, which prompted me to go look up the lawsuit, which was filed by a man named Marco Vega, and it's against Bravo, Forest Productions, Warner Brothers Entertainment, NBC Universal Media, Shed Media, and Peacock TV. Marco was hired in September of 2021 to act as a butler on the second season of The Real Housewives Ultimate Girls Trip. Even though the lawsuit is not against specific individuals, the allegations stem from interactions with two specific housewives. First is Brandy Glanville. She comes from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And the other is Phaedra Parks. And she comes from Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now, according to this lawsuit, Marco alleges that Brandy Glanville at one point became so intoxicated and brash that she actually groped him. He also alleges that she pushed him out of the camera's view, poured him a shot and demanded he drink it. He initially refused the shot, but then eventually drank it and shortly after told the producers that he was being pressured and harassed by Brandy and he felt like he wasn't being supported by the crew and the producers. Now, during what the lawsuit is referring to as bourbon tasting night, Marco alleges that the defendants, meaning Bravo and the producers, Warner Brothers, NBC, Peacock, caused 11 of the housewives to become excessively inebriated, then brought in a burlesque dancer to get the cast in a particular mood, and once the dancer was finished, producers allegedly directed Marco, who was the only male cast member around, to quote, go over there and get the women dancing. At this point, it's alleged that unwanted and without consent, Phaedra Parks then slapped Marco on his butt. Then while his back was turned, Brandy allegedly pulled Marco over to her by his shirt, turned him around and then ripped his shirt off, exposing his bare chest. The lawsuit says Marco desperately tried to stop her, but he wasn't successful. Marco claims he asked if he could leave, but producers told him no, and instead congratulated him on the events of the night. Marco, through the lawsuit, alleges that the assaults have caused marital issues for him and his wife, particularly the incidents with Brandy. And because the defendants had, quote, overwhelming prior notice of Brandy's harassing behavior prior to this trip, they then are responsible for these damages. To support the claims about the overwhelming prior notice, the suit details 15 different incidents in which Brandy exhibited harassing behavior during prior seasons of the Real Housewives franchises, including one example from the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season five, in which Brandy attempted to kiss another housewife by the name of Lisa Vanderpump. As Lisa was pleading, quote, no, 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 I don't want to do that and leave me alone. Brandy, according to this suit, then struck Lisa Vanderpump in the face. Marco says the defendants were aware of the unwanted harassment and retaliation and failed to take appropriate action. He claims that Bravo and its producers continue to cause others to fall victim to Brandy and others on these shows because they see the assault and harassment as good for their ratings and they completely disregard the rights of others. And so the causes of action in this lawsuit are discrimination, harassment, retaliation, intentional infliction of emotional distress, negligence, trafficking victims protection act, and sexual battery. So again, another day, another reality TV show lawsuit.